Recently, we've seen images of red tiles on the nose cone of a Starship prototype being built at the Star Factory. These tiles stand out compared to the usual black and white heat shield tiles used by SpaceX. So far, neither SpaceX nor Musk has explained the purpose of these red tiles. However, there are some very likely reasons which we'll cover in this video. But before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. Let's dive in. One possible explanation for the red tiles is that they are part of an experimental new heat shield material. SpaceX has been continuously working to improve the Starship heat shield for years, as it plays a crucial role in the spacecraft's ability to survive the extreme heat and stress of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. To understand why SpaceX is testing new materials, it's important to first look at the purpose and function of the heat shield. During re-entry, a spacecraft like Starship encounters immense friction with the atmosphere, generating temperatures that can exceed 1,500 degrees Celsius, around 2,732 degrees Fahrenheit. Without a robust heat shield, these temperatures could melt the spacecraft's structure or even cause catastrophic failure. The heat shield acts as a barrier, protecting the spacecraft and its internal systems from these intense conditions. SpaceX's heat shield tiles are currently hexagonal in shape, a design inspired by the Space Shuttle's iconic thermal protection system, but significantly modified for Starship's needs. The hexagonal shape minimizes gaps between tiles, reducing the likelihood of hot plasma seeping through during re-entry. This design decision ensures better thermal coverage and durability compared to square or rectangular tiles, which are more prone to gaps and misalignment. Additionally, hexagonal tiles are easier to replace individually, which is vital for maintaining Starship's reusability. Unlike the Space Shuttle tiles, which were primarily square and made of silica-based materials, Starship's tiles are crafted from ceramic composites that are designed to handle rapid temperature changes. This is crucial because the Starship heat shield must cool down quickly after re-entry, to allow for fast turnaround times, a key part of SpaceX's goal to make Starship fully reusable. Each tile is lightweight, resistant to cracking under stress, and coated to reflect intense heat. Despite these advances, there are still challenges. During Starship's fifth and sixth test flights, SpaceX implemented a new heat shield design that added a black ablative layer beneath the white insulation tiles. This ablative layer is designed to burn away during re-entry carrying heat away from the spacecraft. While this design reduced the damage caused by re-entry compared to earlier flights, it didn't fully meet SpaceX's ambitious goals. Musk has frequently stated that creating a truly reusable heat shield is one of the biggest technical challenges left for Starship. If the heat shield fails to perform as expected, the consequences could be severe. A damaged or poorly performing heat shield might allow superheated plasma to penetrate the spacecraft's surface, potentially leading to structural failure or loss of the vehicle. In extreme cases, the spacecraft could burn up entirely, as was seen with NASA's Space Shuttle Columbia disaster in 2003, which was caused by a breach in the heat shield. For Starship, reusability adds another layer of complexity. While many heat shields are designed for one-time use, like those on NASA's Apollo missions or the Dragon spacecraft, Starship's heat shield needs to survive multiple re-entries with minimal refurbishment. This means the materials must not only withstand extreme temperatures but also remain intact for future missions. The appearance of the red tiles might suggest that SpaceX is testing new materials that could better handle the heat and stress of re-entry. It's worth noting that Starship's current heat shield tiles are attached using an advanced adhesive and pins to ensure they remain in place during both the rigors of ascent and the stresses of re-entry. The red tiles, however, appear to be mounted with visible pins, which could indicate that they are temporary or experimental in nature. Another possibility is that the red tiles aren't heat shield tiles at all. They could simply be temporary protective coverings used during assembly. In spacecraft production, it's common to use remove-before-flight materials to protect sensitive parts during the manufacturing process. 
The red tiles appear to be attached with pins, unlike the regular heat shield tiles, which are glued. This suggests that the red material might be temporary, used to protect the surface or hold certain layers in place during assembly. Once the surrounding tiles are attached, the red coverings could be removed. If this theory is correct, the red tiles are just part of SpaceX's detailed manufacturing process and won't be part of the final spacecraft design. Another interesting theory is that the red tiles might be the first prototypes of a new metallic heat shield design. Currently, Starship uses ceramic heat shield tiles, but switching to metallic tiles could offer advantages. SpaceX has been continuously working to improve the Starship heat shield for years, as it plays a crucial role. To understand the need for these improvements, it's important to look back at the challenges faced during earlier test flights. In April 2023, during Starship's first orbital test flight, the vehicle reached an altitude of approximately 24 miles before experiencing multiple engine failures and losing control. While engine issues were the primary cause of the failure, the heat shield also played a role. During ascent, some heat shield tiles detached due to aerodynamic stress, exposing critical areas of the spacecraft to damage and ultimately contributing to its destruction during re-entry. The second test flight, later in 2023, was designed to address issues from the first attempt. SpaceX made some adjustments to the heat shield, but the flight still faced challenges. A few tiles detached again during ascent, and while they were not the sole reason for the mission's failure, their loss compromised the vehicle's thermal protection system. These early flights highlighted the critical need for a more robust and reliable heat shield design to ensure Starship could handle the extreme conditions of both ascent and re-entry. Recognizing these issues, SpaceX began iterating on its heat shield technology, making it stronger and more resistant to detachment. By the time of the fifth and sixth test flights in late 2024, significant progress had been made. While the heat shield still sustained minor damage during these flights, it remained intact enough for Starship to perform a controlled descent, avoiding the catastrophic failure seen in earlier missions. Now SpaceX is preparing for its seventh Starship test flight, scheduled for January 10, 2025. This mission will feature Ship 33, the first Block 2 upper stage, and Booster 14, a Block 1 vehicle. Flight 7 is expected to follow a suborbital trajectory similar to previous flights. A significant milestone for this mission is the planned deployment of 10 model Starlink satellites simulating next-generation Starlink satellites. This flight will also test the reusability of Raptor engines. Additionally, SpaceX aims to achieve a successful catch of the Super Heavy booster using the launch tower's mechanical arms, known as Mechazilla. This technique was successfully demonstrated during the fifth test flight and is crucial for enabling rapid reusability of the launch system. The Federal Aviation Administration has approved SpaceX's Flight 7 of Starship. The news came shortly after Ship 33 completed engine testing at Massey's and rolled back into Mega Bay 2. SpaceX must now put the final touches on its vehicles before teams are ready. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.